In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool freeze frame paper paint rip effect in Final Cut Pro 10 using this really cool pack from Cinepex called the Whiteout Pack. Now this pack is really easy, it's just simple drag and drop overlays. Simply drag these overlays on top of your clip and you'll be able to create these really cool drawing effects. Now like I said before, this pack is from Cinepex. The link is going to be down in the description below. There is a free sample pack, so if you don't want to purchase the full pack and you just kind of want to test it out to see if you like this pack, there is a free sample pack and if you would like it, of course, I would highly encourage you to buy the full pack. In this video, I'll be going over the entire full pack. Now once you have it downloaded from Cinepax and you obviously have it saved wherever you want, your desktop, your download section, or your hard drive, wherever you have it saved, all you're going to do is you're going to click on Command I and you're just going to import it like you would any normal overlays. Don't put uh, places in your motions template folder, your preset folder. These are just overlays, so find where you have it saved. So you can see white out effect, alphabet, black pen, objects, paint. It just comes a whole bunch of paper textures, scratches, sound effects. There are a whole, I think it's like 140 plus assets, I think somewhere around there. There's a whole bunch of really cool assets. Select on the one or ones that you want to um, import and then just quickly, uh, just easily just quick um, import selected. So again, they're just simply um, overlays. Don't put this in any type of folder. Just simply import this like you would any normal video clip or photo. Once you have the clip that you want to use selected, what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the clip. It's just going to go to the end of the clip you want to use and then you should go back one frame. So then go back one frame and then just click on option F. All that's going to do is it's going to freeze the last frame of this clip and this is the frame that we're using to kind of draw on it. So this effect is just a freeze frame. So let's go ahead and play the video and as you can see the last frame of this clip is just frozen. So just go to the last frame or the middle frame wherever you want. Click on option F and as you can see right there it just froze the last frame of that clip. Now this pack comes with these really cool paper overlays. So just take the paper overlay place it on top of your clip. I would highly encourage you to use these really cool paper overlays because what's going to do is just going to make the video a little less or the effect a little less digital obviously it's still gonna look you know a little bit digital although, although these definitely look a little more realistic but by adding this really cool like paper texture it's just gonna sell the effect and make it look like it was actually drawn on so just a simple like paper texture and all it's gonna do is just make the video a little bit more realistic and looks like look like it was actually like paper that was drawn on so go ahead and take this scale and just increase it so again this makes it a lot more realistic head over here to blend mode and then you can mess the different blend modes in my case I would just encourage you to use screen so just change it to screen as you can see this really nice paper texture again it's just going to make the effect a little bit a bit, a bit better you can of course like color correct it to make it look a certain color but again it's a simple uh, you know, texture paper texture overlay that'll just help sell the effect and it'll make it look a lot more realistic now these effects are really easy all you're going to do is you're going to drag them on top of your clip and they're already pre-animated so you don't have to worry about animating them so let's go ahead and play as you can see this scratch is already pre-animated now i found the best way to change the color is by adding the colorize effect so just slap on the colorize effect onto the actual animation take the intensity change it up to 100 and then remap white to and then just change it to whatever you want so we're going to change it to green just changing the remap white to and adjusting the intensity to 100 also while adding the colorize effect i found is the best way to change the color i tried tint i tried hue and saturation i found colorize is the best way to change the color and then as you can see there we go now what you want to do is you can use the on-screen controls or you can use the controls over here you're basically just going to adjust it so let's take here we're going to make sure we select on the actual animation we're going to decrease the scale a little bit and you're just going to adjust the rotation to get the look that you want so we want to increase the scale a little bit more and then you're just going to drag it and place it wherever you want it so as you can see we want it on his arm so it's going to take the rotation a little bit you can maybe want to increase the scale a little bit so a lot of this is basically just messing around with it until you get the look that you want and there you go you're just going to place it wherever you want the animation to happen so in this case in this case we want to kind of outline this subject so as you can see simple as that you're basically just adjusting the scale position rotation to get it in the position that you want and as you can see there we go that looks really cool see so just kind of draws on him this really paper texture really cool paper texture and then it just draws on the actual subject now we're going to do is we're going to head over here and we're just going to go forward and basically find where the animation ends this animation ends so as you can see go frame by frame we're basically just trying to figure out where this animation ends so we can start the next one so the animation ends here so we're just going to place, place a marker and we're going to drag on the next animation so what we're going to do is we're going to add this really cool scratch zero three it also has these straight lines as well as kind of curved lines 
behind to kind of make sure you can curve around the subject. So it's obviously it's not going to be super accurate. There are going to be definitely some clips that are going to be really hard to trace, but you can definitely get as close as you as close as you possibly can. So you can see there we go. That looks really good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the rotation and we're actually going to flip it the opposite direction. Now you, if you tried this before you watch the tutorial, you realize it sometimes it goes in the wrong direction, and I will show you how to fix that. So let's just take it, and this is going to be a very very rough um you know mask I'm not, it's gonna take a long time to kind of recreate the intro i'm not gonna completely recreate the intro because that's gonna take a very long time but i just want to give you some tips and tricks and just some things just kind of show you the basic overview of how to use this effect and of course you can use your own creativity to get the look that you want but if we play the animation as you can see see it's starting up there we don't want it starting up here we want it starting down here and that's really easy all you're gonna do is head over to the effects panel and you're gonna look up an effect called flip and it's gonna flip the animation so type in flipped and then you'll see now the animation is going to go start in the opposite direction so if you tried this before watching the toy you realize it's hard to change the, the animation doesn't always go in the direction that you want it to just add a flipped effect and now let's play the video and then as you can see see now it's coming from this direction so it's a really nice you know a, um, a little trick now of course you might also have to mess with the actual um, animation again so we have to mess a little bit it's not perfect but flipped is basically just going to change the direction of the animation so you can see now that looks a little bit better obviously I'm not going to recreate it from scratch because you know this can take a long time but if the animation doesn't go in the direction that you want try adding a flipped effect and that'll change the direction of the animation so let's play the video and let's see what it looks like can I see what it looks like so far and there you go you this really cool um, paint animation now we can just click on command C and we can just copy the colorize effect and then there we go and then we just copy the actual colorize effect and there you go simple as that and they have this really cool like outline animation um, tracing out the subject so we have a final cut to render and then if I play the video as you can see this just looks really cool. So I'm going to do is when I kind of go frame by frame until I find where this animation stops. So this animation stops somewhere around here. Let's place a marker and then I'm going to go ahead and just create a duplicate. And then I'm basically just going to kind of keep tracing along the subject and we'll just drag it something like this until we get the look that we want. And you're just going to go frame by frame. And now let's kind of adjust the animation. Now we want to kind of have it go in this direction. So let's go ahead and kind of wait for Final Cut to render. And I think we might have to disable the flipped effect. So let's just take off the flipped effect because I don't think it's really going to work in the direction that we want. So let's click on the animation, click on the transform tool, and let's just move it to the direction we want. Something like this. Now I'm not going to do, I'm going to do kind of like a very rough job just for the sake of the tutorial. So let's do something like this should look pretty good i'm just going to do a very very rough job just for the sake of the tutorial and again like you don't have you don't it doesn't have to be perfect you can do it like this where it's like a very rough outline it's just completely up to you whatever you know you whatever looks good to you it's all a personal preference there is no uh, like right or wrong way of doing this it just depends on what you want it to look like so let's go ahead and play the video and then as you can see it ends right here so let's go ahead and take scratch 02 and let's just create another copy and now we're basically just going to drag it up and line it up with this marker so let's go ahead and kind of see what it looks like now we can basically just you know adjust the position it, it's this these effects are much more kind of like trial and error just kind of experiment with it until you get the look that you want it's a very customizable effect so let's go ahead and just take this scratch and we'll just do something like this now I'm actually just gonna do this just uh, this be the last one and then as you can see I can't I don't actually can't remember which direction this is going in but let's just do something like this and of course look at the animation see make sure it's going in the right uh, the right direction you can adjust the rotation you can add a flipped effect whatever looks good so let's go ahead and play it and see if this is going in the right direction no it's not going in the right direction so we actually want it to start over here in this direction so we're basically just going to take the rotation and we're just going to rotate it because we want it starting from this direction, not the direction as, as it was previously in. So let's take this, increase the scale a little bit, and just adjust the position, and simple as that. Now you have a really cool scratch outline. Obviously this is a very rough job, but I'm just doing a, a really quick job just for the sake of the tutorial. Take your time with this, make sure it looks really good. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's all a personal preference. So let's go ahead and play and see what it looks like, see how cool it looks, and then as you can see right there, see it's just outlining the subject. Really easy, really simple. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna select on this little icon, and basically as you can see, now you're just decreasing it so the layers are a lot smaller. And this is really nice if you want, if it's just, there's just too many layers, you can make it a lot smaller. Now if you're playing the clip or you're adjusting with and you're realizing when you're playing the animation, the animation you see right there, it just disappears. And basically in order to fix that, you're gonna freeze the last frame of each animation. So go to the end of each of them, go back one frame, and then just click on option F to create a freeze frame. All you're doing is you're freezing the last frame of the animations. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure the animation doesn't just like, as you, as you saw before, 
just disappear click on option f simple you're just freezing the last frame of the animation and once i'm done i'll show you what it looks like you know i'm, I'm probably going a little too fast but simply the what i'm doing is i'm just freezing the last frame of each of these animations and what that's going to do is it's going to make sure as you can see the animations don't disappear so if that happens to you the animations kind of just disappear just freeze the last frame and then if i play the video as you can see the last frame freezes so let's go ahead and play the video and you'll see the last the animation stays on screen so there we go and then simple as that see because we froze the last frame that just all stays on screen so let's basically just adjust the paper overlay and adjust something like this and then we can go ahead and just trim these um, to whatever you want this is all like you know a personal preference there we go there is basically that really cool outline and don't worry it's all frozen now basically what you want to do if this looks kind of weird these like weird gray lines you're going to select the clips right here you're going to um, right click and click on lift from storyline select both the clips right click and click lift from storyline just in case that weird like gray outline line looks kind of weird just simply select both of them right click on them and then select um select um lift from storyline and there you go you have this really cool um outline animation you know simple as that now what you can do is you can create a compound clip so let's kind of go frame by frame and kind of this, this is where we want to stop so we're going to create a compound clip because what that's going to do is going to allow us to speed up these animations so let's just click option g and we'll just call this outline or whatever you want now this is creating a compound clip is going to be a lot easier because we're going to do first of all the layers are a lot smaller so it's going to look a lot nicer and much easier to find stuff but it's also going to allow us to speed up the animation if you feel the animation is going a little too slow so we're going to do I'm going to head over here to this compound clip. I'm just going to split the compound clip by clicking Command B. I'm going to select this one where the animation is happening. Click on Command R and then head over here to the read time option. I'm going to increase it by two times. You can, of course, increase it by four times, eight times, however fast you want it. I would encourage you to make the, this animation to go pretty fast. You don't want it to go like too slow or else, you know, you might have some of the audience will click off the video because it's just kind of a, a slow paced video. So I would encourage you to sometimes speed up the animation. So if I don't to run it, all this is going to do is it's just going to speed up the animation creating a compound clip it's much easier than individually like speeding up all the different animations just group them together in one clip and then speed up that compound clip and this animation in turn is just going to speed up so let's play as you can see the animation is going to go a lot faster there we go see the animation is way faster and because we did that freeze frame with the well, we froze the last frame as you can see now the outline stays on the screen for a lot longer now if you're watching the video you realize i placed an animation like behind the subject and that's really simple and really easy to do what you're going to do is going to uh, take the photo and you're just going to create a copy. So hold down option and you're just going to create a copy. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find the, 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 the thing in the person that you want to cut out. So by simply adding a draw mask and you're basically, this will allow you to place things behind this subject. So put uh, up. A place a draw mask on the copy clip and now you're basically just going to you know, zoom in or whatever and you're going to cut out where you want the the thing you're going to cut out the person of where you want the thing to be behind so we want the kind of the angel wings to be behind him right here so what you're going to do is going to take a draw mask and you're just going to trace along the area where you want the animation to be behind now i'm doing a very very rough job just for the sake of the tutorial obviously this is like you know a client edit take more time with it but i'm just going to go quick just for the sake of the tutorial now this is going to allow us to place something but place something behind this subject in this area so if, if it looks a little bit weird on top of the subject you can kind of place stuff behind it so you can obviously you know cut out the whole subject or whatever you want and now this is going to allow us to take the animation let's place it below the we're going to place it in between the two clips the middle one is the cutout clip with the draw mask and as you can see see now the angel wings are like behind the subject so you can kind of mask out the subject and as you can see now the angel wings are like behind the subject so it's really cool so let's go ahead and take the uh, like the scale on the position and now basically what you could do is you're basically just going to adjust the mask so it looks kind of weird so let's take the mask and we're just going to adjust it now this is definitely going to you know, take some time so make sure this looks good so we're going to do a really quick you know cut out mask and then as you can see there we go it's not perfect but there you go now you kind of place let me take a draw mask adjust the draw mask something like this you know that again this is just i'm just going quick just for the sake of the tutorial but this is basically how you place stuff behind the subject and there you go now you got the angel wings are kind of appearing behind the subject so it's really easy to just create a copy and this duplicate you're just going to use a draw mask obviously you can cut out the whole person or just cut out a part of the person it's completely dependent on what you want to do and now you have something you're coming up behind the subject so as you can see see there we go now the wings are like coming up behind it versus if we took off the draw mask as you can see that looks a little bit weird so by adding a draw mask you can add animations behind the subject now you can also take one of the animations and place it like above the subject so we're going to take this like ski mask 
mask animation and we're going to place it above this subject we're going to place it kind of above everything and now you're basically just going to adjust the position the scale and everything like that until you get the look that you want so let's go ahead and decrease the scale and just line up until we get you know into the position that you want of course just experiment with this until you get the look that you want so let's drag it up and then we want the animation to start right there you know just for the sake of the tutorial just i'll just go pretty quick and there you go you have something behind this subject i showed you to place something behind that subject showed you to place something in front of the subject and then show you how to create that really cool outline and there you go there is kind of a very basic idea of how to create this effect and, you know simple as that now obviously you don't know, take take the things that i showed you in this video to create your own animations but i just want to kind of show you the very just bare basics of how to create this effect so let's go ahead and just trim and kind of basically just get the duration that we want now in this case we're going to actually take the paper texture and let's drag it above everything so the entire animation itself has a really nice um, paper texture and then we're just going to enable this outline so the outline remains on the subject the entire time obviously if you don't want it to you don't have to that's just an idea and there you go now you have the um, uh, green outline around the subject during the entire animation and there you go there's this really cool like freeze frame paint paper drawing animation this is a really cool effect obviously you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing I just want to kind of show you the bare basics show you just kind of how to use the effect and a couple of different ideas use your own creativity to make your own really cool effects but there is just kind of the very basics of how to create this effect. Now, a couple of the things you may want to do to this effect is add a couple of different things to just make it look a lot cooler. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add a nice zoom in animations. So during the entire thing, it just has, it's just zooming in. So it's simply going to add an adjustment layer. Now this is a free plugin for Final Cut. And basically what it's going to do is going to, everything that we do to the, anything we do to the adjustment layer, it's going to affect everything below it. Because we want the entire thing to scale in, we're going to place the adjustment layer on top of all the layers and we're just going to animate the scale and um, rotation or position whatever you want to do in this case we're going to place a keyframe on scale and rotation go to the end of the adjustment layer take the scale to 130 and the rotation to five degrees so during that this entire um, like length of the, of the adjustment layer it's going to be animating from 100 to 130 and zero degrees to five degrees it's just going to add make the effect overall look a lot more dynamic rather when it's just kind of still looks kind of like stagnant a little boring and as you can see there it goes you see that just looks so much cooler when it has a nice little like scale and animation now this pack also comes with a whole bunch of really cool sound effects so all you would do is you just place the sound effect um, below the clip and then of course just adjust and they can like mess with the adjustment layer so on paper scratch zero three paper scratch um, zero two I'm kind of just you know, basically guessing because it's hard to hear the audio when I'm doing the voiceover but just simply place the sound effects below where the where you want the um, sound to be so kind of have it correlate with the actual effect adjust the volume just you know just very basic I just wanted to make you aware that this pack comes with these really cool um, paper you know paint sound effects now you may want to add a really nice flash transition in between the clip and the actual freeze frame this is just going to help sell the effect and make it look a lot cooler obviously you don't have to do it it's just a personal preference so let's click on Control d i'm just going to set the adjustment layers duration for six frames so three before and three after so let's go one two three place a marker this is where it's going to be the brightest and we're going to place the adjustment layers you can see the marker so we have three on this side and three on that side it's just going to look well, three frames on this side and three frames on that side now i'm going to add a um, preset that i built with the flash um, transition preset it's available for sale on my digital store it's simply drag and drop on the adjustment layer and then there you go you have this really clean flash transition so if i play the video as you can see boom you have this really nice flash transition it just looks so much cooler when you add just a very simple um, a flash transition and there you go that's it that's kind of the very basics when creating this really cool effect now obviously you'll use your own creativity you know do different things i just want to show you the very bare basics to creating this really cool effect base or basically in other words how to use this really cool pack from cinepacks anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 and apple motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my final cut pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where i sell final cut pro 10 plugins anyways i will see you in the next one peace